Empathic control won't last, little Fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. And it only happens here. Watch out! Double floor! <gasps> Allison sent that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for- Whoa! This place is really unstable. Fuzzy Cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Stir Fry, that's a good one. You Smiling a lot more, Gamora. See, I told you being in a group would help. I mean, seeing Rocket freak out over water is got... I, yeah! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around and find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Alright, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where Little Fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. No, genius. Think about the old look is sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Try your blasters, Peter. Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He drags a lot of heavy things around. Whoa! Did not see that coming. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Are you worried about this fog? Would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team! When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, 
fog, and monsters. What's the forking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. What the fork? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Short group! This is what we get for following the bot lady! At least there's none of that creepy fog! Push down the star fog! Haha! <laughs> Too slow! Not for lack of trying! There's something on the other side. Too bad Drax is out of it. I'm sure he'd love to punch a giant face. Ah, there's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends. Willing to die for another friend? Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? Stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay, setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. Greenie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly your strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. Hey, group, buddy. Think you could lift this? <laughs> It's a long story. Ooh, my favorite kind! 
One more time, Groot. I am Groot. You can stop there. Thanks. No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole shot. in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? At least the crystals are kind of pretty. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good, too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Dunno, I just do. Drax really did seem to care about the Nova Kid, didn't he? Always wanting us to do right by her. Even when it was clearly a bad idea. Are you sure that's the... Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. tell you about this place, Mantis. Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh yes, it's very dangerous. Ancient even. An ancient danger. Or what? Still is. Something. Get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. The galaxy's a weird place. You just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. At least, not in this version. Finally, the face of a thousand lives! I think... Now we save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Here goes nothing! Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, 
Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Clark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. I'm going in! Fuck it! We blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, don't no, do... I'm done with all the riddles! Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you're about to do! Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Rude, can you tell him to stop? Rocket, do one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Turbo! Are you smart, boy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, more of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? That's a funny sounding voice. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! Jigsaw! 
Hey, anyone notice if this happens to be the monster I said? I suppose you want credit for that too? Sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Let's do this! Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? Just how far down does this cave go? Heads up. More than rock monsters. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak the language. Cut it free, Gamora! Bruce, you're up! Make them hurt, Gamora! I'm on it! They may be strong, but they're slow! Don't let Trax hear you say that! Die! Bad 
much difference. Hey, Quill, want to see some fireworks? Why didn't we see any of these guys in the Maybe they know something we don't. <laughs> well, that went about as well as expected. I was sure. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Um, guys. I know, Little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this kill us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does he even throw down here? No. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Damn what? No, it's... Never mind. Yes! It's just a plan, plan. It's not a you plan. We ain't got much choice. Gamora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this? Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? That's one big bean star. Star Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath? Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Bullseye! Bullseye! Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. And... It must still be stuck somewhere. Dig in, Gamora. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. No, it ain't no 
none of their business. What's to understand? I ain't a fan of drowning. Ugh. I believe that works. Half work. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. Right, I'm on it. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. I am Groot. Sure, they're big enough to block the water, but they're growing in the wrong direction. I am All right. I think I can torch these things with a little pew pew. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind and focus on saving Drax? He'll be here on the way back, and if he isn't... <laughs> Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe him in your sleep. So this Jack Beanstalk guy, is that an Earth hero? Kinda. Basically, he plants some magic beans and they grow into this giant plant, which... Stand by, Rocket, go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. What do you say, group? Now that we got the whole team together? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So... About all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like going off. Thanks, buddy. I no, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water, and it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on half world. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? <laughs> Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. I think I can tell the difference between Lady Hellbender's minions and some giant bugs. Shh. What do you mean, shh? It's too much light. Shh. What about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut, you know. The fog entity is defeated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, one lady, but nothing to say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if 
this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. timeline we all get smushed great let me guess further down only if you want to save that and the whole galaxy let me get back to you Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay! This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Friend. And Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Talk about bad breath! We gotta do something to shut it trap! Eyes on the prize, Peter! Next round's on me! Oh. Little Fuzzy must finish the 
Please just save Drax already. Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Stronger! 